All right, so we have a 2011 Lincoln Town Car that's been here to the dealership. This is the fourth time it's been here. First time it came in here because the AC was leaking out of it. What we ended up doing is we put an accumulator in it because the accumulator was rusted out and leaking like most of these Panther platforms do. Um, I went ahead and put my spin, my touch on it, where it's got the plastic case that engulfs it. It doesn't really let so much of the moisture drip out. You uh, get rid of the front half of the case and then you take a, 50, a few 50 pound zip ties and zip tie it to the rear case so it can drain appropriately and it doesn't ever rust out again. So that's the first mod and fix. Got the vehicle back up on the road, everything was working great, but I noticed that when it was leaving, I notified the customer, I'm hearing a, a distinct bearing sound coming from inside that compressor. And it wasn't really showing itself until it started running a little bit and I went to go pull the vehicle out of the shop. Well, I have a doctor's appointment. Um, you know, she's got an elderly elderly mom. She's got doctor's appointments and stuff she has to go to, yada, yada, yada. Something didn't sound right, but I didn't know if it was in my head or not. So we let it go. To me, something didn't quite sound right about a bearing. It was just making a distinct sound that was really not there, but it was there. Three days later after going on vacation, the compressor goes. Another technician here, he puts an AC compressor on it, evacuates everything, puts it back together. A month later, it's back again. The AC's not working properly. I'm like, what the heck is going on with this thing here? So I pull it all, all apart on the shop. On, you know, I ate the time on it. Put an FOT in it, Schrader valves in it. I couldn't see a leak anywhere. It wasn't really leaking too bad at the time. Now here we are, the fourth time it's at the shop. Let me show you what's going on with it. This is an 11 signature limiter. So, uh, first, I'll show you my mod. This is how I mod the case. It doesn't rot out, doesn't rust anymore. But if you look at the AC compressor, you start to see a little drip right there at the bottom of the AC compressor. And you'll get a little bubble every once in a while. between those case halves. AC compressor no good and we're gonna change it again service part warranty so I've got one coming about 1230 it'll be here and uh, I'll go ahead and install that on the vehicle at about 1230 and get that put out there'll be a part two to this video but right now we're <laughs> I'm seeing more and more manufactured parts failing brand new than most things that are 10 15 years old and i, I mean I, i'm saying that with a little dr drama to it don't get me wrong but it's it's uncalled for right now it's just absolutely crazy the amount of brand new parts that are failing on just manufacturers in general not just ford not just chrysler or chevy or whatever toyota whoever it's just the parts they're not getting manufactured very good right now and these are it's unfortunate because now this lady's been here a fourth time the last time we couldn't verify a leak because it wasn't leaking there was no oil anywhere to verify anything and it was staying in a vacuum. We don't have a nitrogen tank to pressurize it, you know, three, 350 degrees to listen for a leak. So we go off vacuum and die. And uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to push management in this instant to uh, maybe end up getting a nitrogen tank so we can actually test under pressure. Nitrogen won't contaminate the system and it's safe to use it. And regulate it at higher PSI to look for leaks that may not show up with oil dye or the take months to show up with oil dye i wanted to share that with you guys and uh just uh keep you informed that there will be a part two to this video y'all take care be blessed